back to my channel. So today I have something very special that I am doing in my tutorial today. I am going to be doing the hair and makeup from Ariana Grande's One Love Manchester concert. The concert was very moving and very impactful and everyone was just all about the love and I was just feeling really inspired so I wanted to create Ariana Grande's hair and makeup for you guys. So I pulled up the poster that Ariana Grande posted and it is the One Love Manchester concert. Proceeds will benefit the victims and the families affected by the Manchester attack on May 22nd. You can donate at onelovemanchester.com which I will also link down below. So I thought it would be really special to do her hair and makeup from the concert. So if you guys want to see how I got this look then please keep on watching. So I'm first going to be starting off with my Pure No Filter Primer and I really like this primer because it has gold reflex in it so it gives my face a lot of radiance. And especially when you have an event like Ariana Grande had a huge concert, you always want to remember to put a primer on your face before you do your makeup and this is really just going to act as a second step in keeping your makeup on and keeping your foundation looking flawless all night. For foundation today, I'm using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation, and this is in the shade 118. And lately, instead of using my Beauty Blender to buff in my foundation, I've been using a tiny buffing brush, and this is really giving my foundation a really flawless effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So next for concealer, I'm gonna try out a new color by LA Girl Pro, and this is in the shade Classic Ivory. It has more of pink undertones, which normally I'm more yellow, so we'll see how this looks. But since it is such a salmon color, I feel like this is really gonna cancel out my dark circles. So to set my under eyes, I'm using my RCMA Translucent Setting Powder. It is in a Makeup Forever container, just because the RCMA container is really inconvenient. It's kind of like Parmesan cheese container. Like how am I supposed to get this out? I don't know. So I put it into a different container but it is the RCMA. And whenever you're using cream products, you always wanna set it with powder because if you don't, the cream is gonna start kicking up and it's gonna start moving around and that's when you get those little lines and creases throughout the days because you haven't set underneath your eye. So I noticed that Ariana DeGrande didn't have a really harsh, intense contour, so I'm gonna grab a pretty fluffy brush and just do like an overall bronzy glue. And using a fluffy brush is just gonna give you like an overall bronzy effect rather than if you're using a really tiny defined brush that's gonna give you more chiseled cheekbones and a more contoured effect. So for blush today, I'm using my Estee Lauder Silky Powder Blush, and this is in the shade Radiant Peach. And with the same brush that I used to contour, I am just going to dust this on the apples of my cheeks. This blush is really, really pretty because it has gold reflex in it, and that's gonna give me a really nice glow. So really quickly, I'm just gonna fill in my brows with my ColourPop Brow Pot, and this is in the shade Bangin' Burnette. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter on, so I'm going into my Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette, and every single day I've been using this color right here, and I'm gonna mix a touch of this color, just because I noticed that Ariana Grande's highlight was a little bit on the golden side, so I'm gonna mix these two colors, but these colors are so, so pigmented. I've been using them every single day and they're so vibrant, so pigmented. Just can't go wrong with this palette. So I have this picture on my phone right here of Ariana Grande singing at her concert in Manchester. And I will include the picture right here for you guys to look at. But I noticed that she doesn't have that much going on on her eyes, but she does have a nice wing and some pretty lashes. So I'm going back into that Carly Bible palette and I'm mixing this color and this color right here. So a little bit of a brown and a little bit of a 
mauve color and I'm just gonna stick that in the outer crease of my eye. I'm gonna go back into that highlighter shade and stick that right on the inner part of my eyelid just to help open up my eyes. So I'm gonna do a nice wing to match her makeup and I'm gonna be using my Inglot gel liner to do this and a small angled brush. So I just went ahead and popped on some fluttery lashes. These are the Dota Lashes in the style 309 and I do have a coupon code if you guys are interested. It is Beauty by Julia Dantis and I will link that all down below if you guys wanna check it out. Do as you please though. So. So I'm starting off with Chi by ColourPop for my lips and this is a really nice mauve color and I noticed that her lips were a really nice mauve pink tone so I'm gonna start off with this color and then if we need to adjust then we can after I apply. I'm gonna add a little bit of On Point by Pure Cosmetics on top of this color to just start warming it up a little bit more. All right, so we are done at the makeup and now I'm gonna show you how I got this really lovely Ariana Grande High Pony with extension. So I'm gonna take it out and start from scratch to show you guys. All right, hey. I'm gonna show you guys step by step how I get this really nice high ponytail. So first things first, I'm going to bend over and I'm gonna slick my hair into a really nice high pony. I'm grabbing all of my hair and doing it upside down is gonna really make sure that it's slick really tightly. And then I'm taking a teasing comb and I'm just going to comb this through the front of my hair so that it is really tight and looks perfect. So now I have a nice high pony and my little stub of hair. So next I'm picking up my extensions and I will link these extensions down below if you guys are interested in buying them. So it's a big band of hair. It's all one, which is really convenient for what I'm looking to do. And if you guys are interested in seeing how I do it with my extensions clipped to my head, I can totally show you guys how to do that. It's really straightforward, but if you guys are interested, I can totally show you guys. Just let me know down below, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy way to get a really nice high pony that's super long if you have extensions like this. So I'm gonna flip over once again. So I'm taking the first clip, and I'm gonna clip that at the very back of my ponytail. That's gonna be like the securing clip, so. I'm clipping it at the very back. And then I have these two pieces right here, and I'm just gonna wrap them around my ponytail. So wrapping one side. Alrighty, so my ponytail has been wrapped, and since we do it upside down, it's gonna form this really nice bump, so it's gonna look like your pony is super high. If we did it the other way, it would look a little bit more flat on her head. And now we wanna hide this little band that you can see of the extensions. So I'm gonna take a little piece of my extension, and you could even braid this, that would look super pretty, but I'm just gonna take this piece, and I'm just gonna wrap it around my ponytail. And I do this with my ponytail all the time, and it gives it a really nice effect. Just keep wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. So next, I'm just gonna grab some bobby pins. Last but not least, to complete this hairstyle, I'm gonna go in with some hairspray, just to make sure it's really sharp and tight. And then going back in with my teasing brush and just making sure it's smooth down. So you can either stop here, which it looks great, it was super easy to achieve, it took me like five minutes and it looks so snatched. Or you can go a step further and fill in your lovely bald spots with a little bit of eyeshadow. So you can use whatever eyeshadow that you guys would like, whatever color matches your hair color, really. So I'm gonna be using my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm picking up Warm Taupe because I have a kind of like a cool, tone going on up here and then it gets warmer but right here it's pretty cool so I'm gonna so 
here's the finished result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a very special video to film for me. Yeah, I really hope you guys subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.